For the moment, we'll turn to the war in Ukraine, the one that's pushing our world towards a recession. Russia is intensifying its operations in Ukraine. The Russian forces have set their sights on eastern Ukraine. They want to strengthen their grip on separatist-dominated areas. Ukrainian forces are losing ground in Severodonetsk. They're demanding more weapons from the West. They want these weapons to respond to Russia's offensive. How soon will they get help? Here's a report. A fierce battle is underway. Every bridge leading to Severodonetsk have been destroyed. The eastern city has been suffering for weeks now. Russian forces have intensified their operations here. Their goal is to take the city. Pro-Russian fighters are sending a message to the Ukrainian forces. Surrender or die. Severodonetsk has practically been blocked after they blew up the last bridge yesterday which connected it to Lysychansk. Those Ukrainian divisions that are there are there forever. They have two options, either to follow the example of their fellow servicemen and surrender or to die. There is no other option. The battle for Severodonetsk will define the future of Russia's invasion. The city lies in the heart of Donbas where the war between Ukraine and Russia has raged for eight years now. Russia is also targeting Lysychansk nearby. If Russian forces take control of both cities, Moscow will effectively control the entire Luhansk. Pro-Russian separatists already control most of this region. The odds are against the Ukrainian forces. But the president of Ukraine has refused to pull back his troops. Vladimir Zelensky says there is no choice but to move forward. In the battles in Donbas, and they will surely go down in military history as one of the most brutal battles in Europe and for Europe, Ukrainian army and our intelligence tactically still beat the Russian military. We are dealing with the absolute evil, and we have no other choice but to move forward, free our entire country, kick the occupiers out of all our regions. And although now the width of our front is already more than 2,500 kilometers, you can feel the strategic initiative is still on our side. Zelensky needs more and better weapons to win this war. The Ukrainian forces are unable to match Russian firepower. On the battleground, Russian forces are firing as many as 50,000 rounds a day. Severodonetsk is also being attacked with mortar shells, air bombardment and missile strikes. The West has committed to sending more weapons to Ukraine. The new supplies are supposed to include long-range weapons like multiple launch rocket systems. But there is a delay in delivery. Yesterday, Ukrainian officials said the weapons are not arriving as quickly as they should. A senior advisor to President Zelensky sent out this tweet. It had a list of weapons Ukraine needs. Kyiv wants more howitzers, rocket systems, tanks, armored vehicles and drones. Ukrainian forces are losing ground due to the delays. They have been pushed back from the city center of Severodonetsk. Russian forces are believed to be gathering more equipment. They want to encircle Severodonetsk and mount a final offensive. Without any real firepower, Ukrainian soldiers and civilians inside this city are trapped. They are at the mercy of Russian forces. Bureau Report, Weon, World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.